Now to continue on with our measure words using yo and meo, right? Our measure words uh, basically are to classify objects. We'll be referring to them as MW for measure words. Everything in the Chinese language has measure words and a lot in English as well. For example, a can of Coke. That means a can is the measure word. A loaf of bread. The loaf is the measure word. All right, but everything else, um, in general, in Chinese anyhow, gets a measure word. Let's have a look at some uh, key ones that we'll be using in this lesson. Now the structure is number, measure word, object. So when you're saying one book, in English we don't have a measure word for book, but in Chinese you do. And the measure word is 本, 本, 一本书, for one book. So whenever you use a number, you need to use this structure when you're identifying or saying how many of these objects you have. Okay. For example, if we have two books, we still keep the number measure word object structure, but then don't forget when we uh, use a measure word for two in Chinese, two are change to liang, liang, so liang ben shu. All right, now, just to see what other measure words we can have, and liang ben shu is what we used last time when we talked about stationary. Now, per people, this is one of the measure words for people. Ge, ge, yi ge ren, one person, yi ge ren, Right. Same when we're talking about family members and people as well. We have three older brothers. So that would be san ge ge ge. San ge ge ge. Right. Now, when we're making a sentence out of this, we can say, I have three older brothers. The yo is the um, word that we had in the previous video for to have. 我有三个哥哥, I have three older brothers. Alright, that's it for measure words and classifiers for today. Don't forget, any number of objects that you're talking about, you must have a measure word in Chinese. And if you forget any of the measure words at all, you can use this universal measure word. It'll get you by in Chinese, if you can't remember its specific measure word. Okay, 同学们,再见!